All right, I just had to do a live stream about this. This has been at the back of my mind for a little while now. This whole thing happened a couple months ago of the whole video games, rock music thing. And this is not, by the way, this is not an attack against Brother Brian. This is not me attacking him. In fact, I'm not even going to like say anything bad about him. I'm just, you know, this has been at the back of my mind for quite a while. And um, what he did say, he basically was condemning rock music, which I agree. Rock music is very, very wicked. Um, I agree with it fully. But uh, where I think he goes off a little bit, and again, you know, has been at the back of my mind for quite a while, where I think he goes off a little bit is kind of making it into a salvation issue. Okay? Now again, I'm not for rock music. It's very, very wicked. Um, rock music is basically, it harms the brain. It's very bad for your health, too. And all kinds of scientific studies prove that, by the way. But um, it's not really a salvation issue. And there is liberty we have in Christ Jesus. Now, a, a carnal Christian you know, someone who's carnal, they, they can be at a lower level of sanctification than a Christian who's at, who's been saved a lot longer. Basically, someone who's at a lower level of sanctification is because they're at, they basically have not been saved as long. Now, Brother Brian, he's been saved a lot longer than most of us have. So he's at a way higher level of sanctification. And again, not attacking him, I'm just simply stating facts. That's all I'm saying. But let's read um, Galatians 5, which talks about the liberty we have in Christ Jesus. It says, Stand fast, therefore, in the liberty wherewith Christ hath made us free, and be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. In verse 2, Behold, I, I, Paul, say unto you, that if you be circumcised, Christ shall profit you nothing. Now he's talking, he's basically talking to people who are trying to go back under the law, and he's saying, you know, if that's the case, then, you know, Christ died for no reason. If you're going to be circumcised, you know, because they're trying to go back under the law. In fact, that's what Galatians 5 is talking about. Uh, verse 3, For I testify again to every man that is circumcised, that he is a debtor, to do, debtor to, do, to do the whole law. I'm not good at reading on a computer, I do apologize. Uh, verse 4, for, uh, Christ has become of no effect unto you, whosoever you are justified by the law, you are fallen from grace. This is actually a common passage that conditional security law, these, these uh, street papists, these you know, Roman Catholic street preachers, I call them Roman Catholics because they're basically preaching Roman Catholic doctrine, a conditional security is a Catholic heresy. Uh, they use this passage to try to say, "Oh, see, you can fall from grace; you've lost your salvation." And if you look, if you actually read the context, Paul's actually condemning uh, conditional security because he's basically saying, "If you're going back under the law, look at the verse again. Christ has become of no effect unto you. Whosoever of you are justified by the law, you're fallen from grace." He's telling them, "If you're going back under the law, then you're no longer under the grace of God. If you think you're back under the law," You know, you're not under grace anymore. So Christ died for no reason. You know, compare this with uh, Galatians 2.21. You know, it talks about how if, if we're righteous come by the law, then Christ is dead in vain. So we have liberty in Christ Jesus. Christians can be carnal, but it's not really, it's not, you know, they're, I mean, it's not that they're not saved. Now, if they've been saved for years upon years and they're just, they're into, you know, fornication or, or you know, still just heavily drinking alcohol or something like that, or just, doing all kinds of wicked sins like uh, just you know partying, going to the bars. But yeah, if they've been saved for if they've been claimed to be saved for like thirty or forty years and they're still like and there's no conviction there, there's no, you know, um, that's a problem. You know? But a new Christian who's who just got saved and who just you know who's been saved for maybe, I don't know, like a couple months or, you know, a year or something, you know, they it takes the, the process of sanctification is, is it takes time. I'll put it that way. Galatians 5.5 5, For we through the Spirit wait for the hope of righteousness by faith. For in Christ there is neither circumcision, neither circumcision availeth anything, nor uncircumcision, but faith worketh by love. Ye did run well, who did hinder you, that ye should not obey the truth. This persuasion cometh not of him that calleth you. A little, a little leaven leaveneth the whole lump. Very, very true. I have confidence in you through the Lord, that uh, ye will be none otherwise minded, but he that troubleth you shall bear his judgment, whose, whosoever be he. Again, I do apologize. I'm not good at reading on a screen. Kind of hurts hurts my eyes too. If this will really help. Uh, but and I, brethren, if I yet preach of, yet preach circumcision, why do I yet suffer persecution? That is the offense of the cross ceased. I would so I would they were even cut off, which trouble you, for brethren, ye have been called into liberty. Only, or sorry, only to use not liberty for an occasion to the flesh, but only, but by love serve one another. Okay, your liberty in Christ Jesus does not give you the right to sin. 
However, if you are in sin, it doesn't automatically mean you're lost. And I think that's where Brother Brian just goes wrong, is uh, he rightfully condemns rock music. He rightfully condemns a lot of the violent video games like Grand Theft Auto, which encourage, you know, stealing stuff and, and looting and, and, you know, committing all kinds of crime. He rightfully condemns that. I, I agree with him 100%. But where I think he goes wrong in some cases is he kind of kind of sort of makes it into a salvation issue. Again, not attacking him. I'm just saying this is what I'm sort of seeing. Okay, and I could be wrong. You know, if I'm wrong, you know, I, I'll, I'll admit to it if I am wrong. But that's just kind of what I'm seeing, okay? I'll put it that way. But again, you have, your liberty in Christ Jesus is not for you to sin. That, that's how it works. But you have liberty, you know? You are, if you're saved, you're eternally secure. You're sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. You cannot lose your salvation. When you sin, like Ephesians 4.30, when you sin, you only grieve the Holy Spirit. You get out of fellowship with God, and we're going to see that later on in the passage. For all the laws fulfilled in one word, even this, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. But if you bite and devour one another, take heed that ye be not consumed one of another. And here is, you know, talking about not doing the lust of the flesh. And, and another thing, too, is a characteristic of, of a lordship salvation is they will say, basically, in Calvinism and that kind of stuff, and, and, and I'm not calling Brian a lordship salvationist. He doesn't preach lordship salvation. I'm just saying what lordship salvation people preach is that basically you, basically, it's, a, it's Calvinism. They basically will say, you know, you know, perseverance of the saints, you, you won't do this, you won't do that, you won't do this, and they say it will not happen, you know, and I'm not, I'm not saying Brian preaches that, I'm just saying, as an example, this is what lordship salvation people believe, and, you know, they take away the liberty you have in Christ Jesus, absolutely, uh, this I say then, walk in the spirit, and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh, for the flesh lusts against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh, and these are contrary one to another, so that you cannot do the things that you would, okay, Again, uh, making it into making the thing of playing video games, which again is very very wicked. I'm not for it. Uh, playing it, making it into saying, "Oh, you're lost if you do it." You know, it's it's the sinful flesh. Every person has a sinful. Flesh. I mean, Paul uh, in, in Romans seven talks about you know his struggle with the flesh. He talks about how he wants there's like the stuff he has to do. He just he can't. He wants to do it, but he can't. He's having to fight the flesh. Romans chapter seven talks about that. Verse eighteen. But if you be led of the Spirit, you're not under the law. Very very true. And it goes in the works of the flesh. Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these. Adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies, envyings, murders, drunkenness, revilings, and such like, of, of which I tell you before, as ye have also told you in time past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. This is actually a common passage that a lot of the street preachers will use to say, oh, you can lose your salvation. You see, you won't inherit the kingdom of God. Well, what is the kingdom of God? It's spiritual fellowship, according to Romans 14, 17. And, uh, you know, but again, Christians, we, we have sinful flesh. We, that, you know, Christians are capable, because again, he's talking to Christians in this passage. He's telling them, don't do these things. So they can still fall into sin. That's how it goes. And again, not condoning video games, not condoning wicked rock music, it's terrible. It's very, very wicked, very, very satanic. It comes, you know, the heavy drum beat, you know, Brian brought this out, it comes from voodoo, it comes from uh, witchcraft and stuff. But Christians have sinful flesh and they can become carnal, especially if they're young in the faith. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, uh, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such there is no law. And they that are Christ. Christ have crucified the flesh, but the affection, affection, sorry, affections and lusts, and not good at reading on a computer. Uh, and if we live, if we live in the spirit, let us also walk in the spirit. Let us not be desirous of vain glory, provoking one one another, envying one another. So notice how Paul he's saying basically that he's telling them don't do these things, don't do these things. What does it mean? Well, Christians can still fall into sin. They can still get uh, messed up with sin. They can still get messed up with the flesh. You know. Um, they can do something, they can get addicted to something like drugs or alcohol or something. Um, it can happen. We have a sinful flesh. You know, we're not like we're not like these sinless, sinlessly perfect um, creatures. We have a corruptible body. First Corinthians 15 talks about that. First Corinthians 15, 51 to 58 talks about how we have a, how our bodies are corruptible and at, at the uh, catching away, the resurrection, we get a corrupt, incorruptible body. You know, we can we have struggles with sin, but you have liberty in Christ Jesus. We're not under the law. You know, we don't have to do animal sacrifices. We're not trying to keep the law. If you're under the law, you're not under grace. So I just had to point that out because um, 
people are attacking Brian, calling him a Lordship Salvationist, which he is not. Brian's not a Lordship Salvationist. But where I think he just goes wrong, and this is what I'm seeing, where I'm thinking he's going, going wrong, is making video games and that kind of stuff into kind of a salvation issue, where if you do this, you're not, if you do this, it proves you're not saved. That's basically getting into Calvinism, basically getting into um, Lordship Salvation. And I'm not accusing of of saying Lordship of Salvation. I'm just saying that's where it leads to. That's all I'm saying. Uh, because again, Christians, we have a sinful flesh. We have to resist the flesh and walk according to the Spirit. So it's, I had to point that out because we do have liberty. We do have freedom. And again, you know, uh, where is that verse? Where is uh, verse thirteen? You know, we're not, it's not an excuse to get into sin. So. But I, I, it, it has been, this has been in the back of my mind for a, a while now. I never really came out much against it because I have a lot of respect for Brian, and I still do respect him a lot. Um, I've learned a lot from him. He's he's uh, uh, knows a lot about scripture. He's I've been blessed by a lot of his sermons. But I disagree with him on some points, and one of the points where I do disagree with him on is basically saying if you do certain things, it proves that you were never saved. You know, I disagree with him on that, and I'll I'll, I'll stand by that. And again, not condoning video games. I'm not condoning the wickedness that is, you know, rock music, the voodoo, the witchcraft, all that stuff. I'm not condoning it. But if you do it, it doesn't automatically prove you're lost. It just proves either you got carnality issues, or um, you're just either you're a false convert. Which basically, if they were never saved to begin with, then obviously they'd be listening to rock music. But it just proves they probably have carnality issues. So I had to put that out there. Um, I also look at some of the comments here. Uh, Someone said, yeah, um, Sword and Stone Ministries, 1611. Yeah, he spent over 50,000 hours playing video games. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I I, I play video, video games too. Um, I don't play them as much anymore, and I certainly don't play uh, very violent games like, you know, Call of Duty, Grand Theft Auto, that kind of stuff. Very, very wicked stuff. And uh, But, you know, I might play, like, you know, um, what was that thing, uh, Minefield or something like that. Or I mean, I, I really don't play much, much video games anymore, but, you know, I might just... You know, play some or some you know math games and get my math skills up. Um, so play, video games itself are not a sin, but definitely playing violent video games like like um, blanking out right now. Sorry, I just it's really hot in my room, so I'm just sweating like crazy. But um, playing games like Grand Theft Auto, that kind of stuff, very, very wicked. It encourages you know looting, crime. Um, but I don't, yeah, I mean, someone yeah says I don't play any games at the moment. Yeah, yeah exactly. I mean. Um, personally, I think that video games are just a waste of time. Personally, I, I, I I'm not like a big fan of them. I, I think they were kind of a waste of time, because uh, you know Ephesians five talks about how we're supposed to redeem the times, because you know the days are evil. Uh, someone says Brian says people can lose their salvation. Uh, oh, he did say that in a video about uh, basically, basically people who go against Israel could lose their salvation. However, he took the video down and basically, um, from what I understand, he doesn't believe like that anymore. Um, and, and you know, in Romans 11, when it talks about uh, being cut off from, the, from for going against Israel, I believe it's talking about like nationally being cut off. Because if you can lose your salvation, then you're not sealed with the Holy Spirit. If any, if you anything you can do can make you lose your salvation, then you're not eternally secure. So, um, which you know means you're not sealed with the Holy Spirit. You're not sealed until the day of redemption. So I believe it's it's talking about nationally being cut off. So Brian, he did take down the video. He doesn't, from what I understand, he doesn't believe that anymore. Um, no, I'm sorry, I'm just looking through the comments. Yeah, I mean, rock music does have its origins in Satanism. That, that is true. I mean, it, it does. Uh, if you look at voodoo, you look at occultism, the the, bat, the fast drum beat, that kind of stuff, it comes from, from witchcraft. Uh, I'm, just I'm just reading the comments. Yeah, it's true, very true. I reflect upon the word. A lot of the, the musicians are very, they're atheists, they're anti-God. Marilyn Manson... He's a Satanist, which, you know, it's kind of funny. I mean, a lot of, like, you know, Katy Perry, some of these other celebrities, uh, they were raised in, you know, Christian, so-called Christian households. Um, what would they really, 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 I'll start over. They were raised in Christian households, and then they kind of got away from it and got towards being total, like, atheists and total, you know, God-haters. Why? Because they were raised in organized religion. And I, I'm going to do a video about this in the future, how organized religion basically ruins people. And, mo and most of these, these wicked Hollywood celebrities... A lot of them were actually were raised, you know, Christians, but they weren't raised, you know, Bible believing Christians. They were just raised in organized religion. See, organized religion turns people into these atheists and Satanists because they don't have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. I mean, there are so many atheist YouTubers I know of who are former Roman Catholics, and why? Because the Roman Catholic Church 
It's just tradition. It's just pagan man-made tradition. There is no personal relationship with Jesus Christ in the Roman Catholic Church. So they'll even become atheists. Um, again, I might do a separate video on this, but I'm going to end the stream here. So thank you for all you tuned in. Uh, again, uh, not condoning video games, not condoning wicked rock music, um, but I just I just disagree with Brian on the issue of it being kind of like getting into kind of a salvation issue. I disagree with him on that, but I, tr I definitely agree that it's very, very wicked and Christians ought to stay away from stuff like Call of Duty and, and you know, Marilyn Manson and that kind of stuff. So I uh, just had to get that out there. It's been at the back of my mind. So thank you all for watching. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.